Today's episode is sponsored by the Lenovo Smart Display with the Google Assistant. Hey Google, play Mr. Kate on YouTube. All right, here's Mr. Kate on YouTube. Hello, creative weirdos. Welcome to Mr. Kate Decorates. Today is a special episode. We are working with a family of three, Mariana, Daniel, and baby Daniel. They all live in a converted garage together. Daniel is a retired Marine. He now works nights as a mechanic. They've moved into this garage and it's their main living space. They sleep in there all in the same bed, but they have to sleep sideways in order to fit. So we've got a big challenge on our hands to make that a livable space for them, give them hopefully some separate sleeping situations for baby and parents. And we are not working with the budget today because we just wanna make sure to give them the best possible result in this space. So let's go meet the family now. All right guys, we are outside of Mariana Cruz's house. We are gonna go meet her and just see the room and it sounds like, oh, they have a dog. Hi! <laughs> oh my gosh, you have pink hair. Yeah. Hi, I'm Joey. Hey. Hi, buddy. Okay. Very nice to meet you. Nice. Joey. Daniel. Daniel. And here's the bedroom. All right. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's petite's in here. I mean, it's, it was what, a two-car garage? Mm -hmm. So this is all three of your bedrooms. Gotcha. All three. So all three of you sleep in this bed here. Yes. I'll sleep like this, <laughs> this, I'll, this. I'll yeah. Floor sometimes. Hey, whatever, but, um, whatever works. And then she'll, when she finally wakes up with him, they'll wake me up and I'll switch and I'll finally get to sleep with him. Oh, because you get up early with him. Okay, so you get yeah, to it's enjoy I work, it Yeah, I work night shift. That's why you need the blackout curtains. Yes. <laughs> you guys sort of hung those. <laughs> Thumbtacks. We no. used to have the rods, but I didn't like them because the light would come out still to the top. And ah. like this is one of those things. Blackout. This is one of those things where I'm like, I'll do it tomorrow. How much does this space need to be like a living room and bedroom? Like, do you guys try to chill out here in the day as well, or? Yes. What ends up happening is we'll be in here watching our own shows. My mom will be in the living room watching her own shows. We'll go inside eventually for him, see everybody. We'll be out there. Right, use the kitchen, obviously. Yeah, but then there. eventually we want to see our own show, not whatever my mom's watching. No, I totally get it. This is like your sanctuary as a family. So you come here, you have your obvious, that's a, that's a quite a large TV as well. Are these your figurines in here? They're collectible. Oh, collectible. Yes. Sorry. Kate. I'm sorry. Well, aren't they collectible How figurines? Rude. Yes. You're a creative weirdo. Yes. You've seen all the videos. What are your like hopes and dreams for this space that you think that, that you would like to see us do? Mostly, I feel like just storage space. I would like, mm -hmm. you know, my own little makeup and jewelry. Oh, yes. Too. You arrange your jewelry over here. Yeah. On the floor. But how cute! You're, you're. I mean, very even spacing. You're, you're attempting to organize your stuff. I see yeah. it. No, totally. And then this is your little makeup mirror and mm -hmm. your makeup case. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about style-wise. Like, what, what do you guys like taste-wise? Well, I'm very girly. Oh. But I try to not be too girly just for his sake and his sake too. But obviously this space is kind of compartmentalized because like there's three people living in here. So there can be areas, which you've already kind of done. Like mm -hmm. you've got the pink sheets and the garland over there and then your collectibles over there, you're kind mm -hmm. of compartmentalizing it. But it'd be nice if we could kind of blend it together a little bit more, create a flow. Mm -hmm. Obviously prioritizing organization, quality of sleep for all three of you. That would be great. And some girly. I feel you on the girly. I see the pink hair. I see you. <laughs> I see you, flower shirt. <laughs> I got it. You guys want to upgrade it? Can we all get our hands upgrade. in? One, two, three. Upgrade! Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I'm really excited to just improve their quality of life in this space. So it's obviously a big challenge in there, but we're up for it because this family deserves it. A better quality of life in that space. It is possible, I think. We are giving them a bunch of free furniture and we're also giving them the Lenovo Smart Display, which is the beautiful device you guys just already saw, but we'll get more into it later. It's very chic. So obviously we have so much to do. We've got to unpack a ton of furniture. We've got to cram a lot in that room. <sighs> Let's go find Joey at the studio. Knock, knock. I'm Mr. Kate. Oh, hey. You don't even need the introduction. You already know who this is. I'm Mr. Kate. I'm here. I'll take a look at your place. I'll stop by for a while and help you find your style. Where will I end up? Where will be? Mr. Kate. Oh, I'm Mr. Kate. Joey, are you in? 
Oh, there he is. Okay, guys, so we are here at the studio and we're doing things a little bit differently because we have all kinds of furniture that's already arrived for this project because we are so lucky we have Ashley Furniture who is giving us all of the furniture for this project. So I'm really excited to go through everything. So obviously that means we're not really gonna be doing a lot of in-store shopping. There's a few things that we need to pick up today, like some lighting, paint, which is why I have my paint fan deck here. But we've got everything here. So this is this is yeah. like the vibe of the furniture like, that's look going at this in. Giant dresser now for them. So this is the headboard that sort of matches the style. Exactly. So obviously the main goal in there is going to be to try to give them like a more livable space where they don't have to share a bed and sleep sideways on it. Mm -hmm. So um, oh, that reminds me. Did we get those divider curtains? Gray curtains. These? Yeah. Okay. So guys, obviously the biggest challenge in there is going to be to try to like designate areas and actually maybe even create like a little sleeping nook. So that's why these curtains are going to be really key because we'll be able to mount ceiling tracks. So the curtains will be uh, attached to the ceiling. So basically it'll be a floor to ceiling wall of curtains. Yep. He'll be able to draw those during the day, have his little, you know, sealed off dark cozy sleeping nook, and then the rest of the area will be for mom and kid to use. Okay, so let's let's decide on a paint color. So these are obviously gonna be a big patch of color in that room since we're gonna create an L with them. So I don't wanna ignore these going on when I'm picking the paint color. I do wanna do a gray paint color in there. So you're thinking the walls are gonna be gray and the curtains are gonna be gray? Yeah, I'm trying to create like unity in there. He has the, his like cartoon characters will display. Like she has her like little, you know, like love of pink stuff. So like we'll have those moments going on. I want like a neutral background for all that stuff. I like this mount sterling here. Like see how that's kind of a really nice tone with this gray here. Mm -hmm. It's like a nice neutral. Okay, that's the color. Great. Take a deep breath, pillow. Show us what you're made of. Oh, just breathe, keep breathing. Keep inhaling. Wow. <laughs> so this is like a faux fur with then these speckles of gold. So obviously we're mixing the metals here. But this is kind of like a subtle way of giving Mariana like her like glam thing, you know? Yep. This is gonna be like the baby's quilt for his new bed. Look at these storage baskets. These are gorgeous. These are from Ashley. Oh yeah, those are cool. Right? It's so nice with the basket weave down below and then a little bit of that cotton above. Mm -hmm. So it's like a jute and cotton mix. Right. All right, let's go in the office and just like figure out exactly what we still need to get what the plan is. Okay, we can make a list. All right. Okay. Look at this beautiful piece of technology. Mm -hmm. This is the Lenovo Smart Display with Google Assistant. We're gonna gift this to Mariana and Daniel. Oh, I'm so excited. Cool. Hey Google, show me my latest photo. Showing your photos. Okay, ah. so that's the floor plan we're thinking about. Yeah, so this is the floor plan we're thinking. So obviously, like we talked about, functionality is like kind of king, no, queen in this room. We need to make sure that we somehow give them a better quality of life in there by just giving them sleeping options that make them not have to sleep sideways on a bed. We're giving them a, a bed for the baby because they don't even have a bed for the baby. Exactly, yeah. so we're bringing in a toddler bed. We're bringing in a full size bed because right now they have a queen size bed, but I, we do have to shrink it down just slightly to be able to fit all this in. We'll do two wardrobes on either side. And then the biggest thing that we're doing in there that's gonna like make it feel like there can be separate areas are those divider curtains, which you guys already saw. So like those are gonna go like boom, boom. So yeah. basically make a little An L cubby shape. right here. Yeah, so basically the tracks will run along the ceiling, they can have them open, and then after Daniel comes back from his night shifts and he sleeps during the day, he can tuck himself into this 
little sleeping area here, draw the blackout curtains, and then the rest of the space, Mariana and baby can play and be in and hopefully not disturb. Them. So then we'll put the TV here and we'll mount it so they can watch it from the couch, but then we'll also put on a swivel mount so they can watch it from bed. bed well. Yeah. Okay, let's make a shopping list because we still have crucial items that we have to get to pull this together. Okay. Hey Google, add paint and wardrobes and floating shelf and pink items and DIY supplies for the necklace display to my shopping list. Thank you. Andy. <laughs> and we're doing the blown up photos of the handprint and the footprint. Oh yeah, I scanned those in and they're obviously life size, but I think if we blow them up like big for like a duo art thing right. on the wall, it'll be super cute. So we need to get those framed. Yes. Yeah, so, we hey Google, show me directions to the nearest framing shop in Hollywood. Hollywood! Great. You know what's only left now? Lunch! Lunch! I knew you were gonna say that. I... Hey Google, <laughs> show me recipes from the Food Network for chicken parmesan. Sure, here are some recipes. Mm. What? Who is making that right mm. now? Oh yeah? Yeah, I got recipes. In the toaster oven? Oh my gosh, we're never gonna get this done. We're never gonna get this decorated. Joey, we have so much to do in the space. Start cooking. When? Now. Preheat the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. No, Google, Let please. Me know when you're hey, done. Google, love you, bye. Really? Wow, it feels good to be loved. Okay, guys. We just got to Mariana and Daniel's house. We've been unloading because we have so much furniture we're bringing in this place. Joey is already setting up to paint in there. And yeah, I uh, put on some beauty marks and lipstick because you know what, I mean business. This is my business color. And of course, freckle beauty marks are just always very serious. Ha! Let's go. I'm already painting. Okay, well, I've already set up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, 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 okay. Don't bring those in. No, Joey, no, I no, already. No, 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 don't bring those in. Let's paint first. Yeah, but you already got a lot done, though. No, no. Well, Joey, I have to set them down now. No, I'm saying, but take them back out. No, I'm just going to set them down over here. Here, grab, why don't you grab a roller and help me paint? Or actually, why don't we. Okay, coming, coming, coming. Wait, coming. why don't we actually talk? Let's talk, let's talk. Let's, let's have a talk. Okay, so we're going to paint. We're gonna mount ceiling tracks for those curtains to make that like sort of bedroom. Yes. And then we're gonna mount the TV out here. Mm -hmm. They're gonna get a couch here so they can watch the TV from here. I they hope the also... couch fits, yes. Okay, oh my God, so Okay, okay. so do you wanna help me paint? Sure. Or do you Well, let's uh... just get this finished. Okay. I mean, you've got this wall almost done, so. Oh wait, now that I just got this roller nicely saturated for Joey two rolls, I have a DIY I can start that actually involves painting two, which I wanna do now so that it can dry. You want to at least do like one stroke? No, but Joey, two rolls. Look at what I can saddled you, up for you, you. Can you saddle that one up? Sure. <laughs> Wait, what? Why am I doing this? Well, everyone needs an assistant. J -j 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 Joey, two rolls. I just made the Joey two roll dance. Go ahead and tweet me with that one. <laughs> Okay, so we know that Mariana is sharing that space with her little boy, her husband, and she tried to set up a space for herself that was like special, had her little girly things, her makeup, her jewelry. So I want to embrace that and give her some little special moments. Obviously, we're not working with like a ton of space in there and we're trying to cram in so much stuff. But remember, she had her necklaces hung up on the wall on thumbtacks. She had them very neatly arranged on thumbtacks, but I want to give her something a little bit prettier, a little bit just cooler to display her necklaces on. So that is what I'm going to DIY right now. I have these supplies in front of me. I've got this beautiful copper tubing because Mariana does love the color pink, so I'm trying to bring in some pink accents for her. I know Daniel doesn't love that color, so I'm not trying to like overload it, but you know, have some little moments of pink. So this copper obviously is a beautiful pink tone. This is just copper tubing we got at the hardware store. And then this nice two and a half by two and a half solid wood piece, which I'm gonna cut down into little wall mounts that I'm gonna attach these, etc. But anyways, I thought this was a perfect opportunity to use the Lenovo Smart Display and just get some inspiration and also 
just some ideas as to how long I want to make these. So, hey Google, show me images of necklace displays. These pictures should match. Okay, thank you. This is very helpful. So basically, I just want to see around how long those like T-bars usually are on the necklace displays. And I actually want to mount these on the wall because we don't have a ton of surfaces in that room. So I think that these mounted on the wall is going to be cooler, but I definitely think that if we can cut these, yeah, like around like probably 12 inches each, like maybe just like cut it in half. All right, so I marked my halfway mark here. This is just this copper tubing pipe. I have this pipe cutter here, which these are pretty cool. So basically you want to use a pipe cutter when cutting pipe instead of like nippers because those will clamp down the end, you know, make like a really aggressive, not so cute cut. But this will give us a nice clean cut. So you keep tightening this and you spin it around. Right? And once it starts going smoothly, you tighten it again. I think I'm hitting close. Oh! <laughs> there we go. And it happened. And look, a nice clean break there. So now we've got our two beautiful pieces of this copper tubing. So now I've got to cut the pieces of wood. Okay, so this is then gonna be mounted on the wall and then she can hang her necklaces from here. So cute. So next up, I'm gonna paint this a pale pink. I'm gonna sand it first, then paint it, let it dry, get up on the wall. Necklace display! Okay, so these are Baby Daniel's first footprint and handprint. Remember, they were just on those like little tiny pieces of paper that Mariana had just kind of tucked under the glass of their old dresser. I scanned them in on my phone and then blew them up to be beautiful artwork side by side. Like, look how cute and so meaningful. I love it. And these frames look amazing, nice and chic. And look. Something pink for Mariana. Shh, don't tell me. Okay, this is going to work over here. Oh, Mariana is getting her vanity. We're gonna give her her little sanctuary over here. Joey, I am so thrilled with how this is coming together. What, like, what? the functionality of this room is so improved. It's beautiful, but I'm building the bed still. A little privacy, please. A little privacy, please. Is it nice and dark in there? I mean, what I like to hear. How cool is that? We created a room within a room. A tiny room within a tiny room. All right, well, let's rug cuddle and celebrate. Rug number two, because we didn't get to cuddle in that one. I like how it's like a sister rug to the one under the bed. Yeah. It's like same color-ish, but it's got like a different accent color. Ugh, this is such a creative way to make a functional space. I know. I really think that it's gonna just improve their lives in here so much. Eee! Cuddle, 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 cuddle. Okay, break. More furniture. Ready, eee! break.
where I get my ideas from. Sometimes I just have to go into a into a wardrobe and get inspired and eat some Turkish delight. All right, so guys, I am so excited about what we've created here. Like, think about what they had before, just a mattress shoved in this corner. We've now taken a couple items that they had, a bed and the exposed clothing rack that they had over there, and combine them into this really cute bed nook over here. So these are two nice, tall wardrobes with rods inside. We've got the tall rod, the middle rod, and there's drawers. So, so much storage for them on either side of the bed, but obviously that takes up the space for the side table. So the solution there was doing this floating shelf above the bed so that they can put a glass of water up here. If they're reading a book, they can tuck that up there. You know, it's just nice to have some kind of surface near the bed. And then obviously having this light fixture overhead is now the reading light. So no need for bedside lamps. I love it. And like with the curtains, like literally it's, totally different in here. So now we've just got this nice bedding, this beautiful comforter. Gonna make the bed. Oh. cute I need a bed this size but more importantly how good does it look in here <laughs> what we did in here because functionality was key in here. I mean, let's just remember there's a family of three that is living in this room, right? I mean, they use the kitchen elsewhere, but everything else they do in here. And with Daniel working nights and needing to sleep during the day, this is now his bed nook. He can draw these curtains. They are blackout curtains. And then we've got baby Daniel, his own bed. So no longer does he have to sleep with his parents. I'm sure there'll be some transition period there since he's used to sleeping with them but now they won't have to sleep sideways on a bed. So that is just really key. And I love that we kept the palette nice and neutral in here. It's just really beautiful and classy in here and very relaxing. And that's totally Mariana's style with the kind of a little bit more glam accents, but then we have some more earthy tones of the wood playing in. And then of course, we gave Mariana her special little altar to herself over there, the vanity, which is so, awesome with her necklace displays, no more thumbtacks on the wall, and her pops of pink, her favorite color, so that's her little sanctuary. Daniel, the dad, has got his, you know, figurines now nicely arranged over there on the dresser. The gigantic TV is on a swivel mount so they can watch it from the bed or from the couch. Hello, we gave them a couch. Guys, how did we fit all of this stuff in here? I don't know, but we did, and there's room to spare, there's room to move around, there's a coffee table, I also just love this artwork that we did. So those are baby Daniel's handprint and footprint from when he was first born. And now it's all blown up and it's basically like human size. So maybe when he's older, they'll actually fit his hand, I don't know. And then we chose to do the shorter curtains over here on this window on purpose because this is the main walkway in here, right? So we've got this door coming in and now there's this area here where we can put the toy baskets and stuff like that. So rather than the curtains dragging all the way to the ground, I think it's a much cleaner setup like this. Then of course we have the full length curtains over there by the sliding glass door and full length curtains here. And the ceiling chalks are just amazing. I mean, it's just so great in here. I just, we need to get them. Oh. <laughs> hey. Literally on cue. You ready to bring them in? They're yes. here. But this is my small bed. I think I need a bed like this size. Look at it. You need me to buy you a crib? No, not a crib. A toddler bed. A I'm toddler the size bed? of a toddler, yes. 
All right, you want to bring him in? It's my transitional bed. It'll be my nap bed. Yeah, it but it looks so good in here. It looks so good in here. I think we should bring him in on that side though, because like then they can get the view of this when they open their eyes. Okay, I'm gonna okay. go purple. Okay, I'm just fixing. Okay. Well, and I'm gonna please. Eyes put closed. You in eyes closed. Come on. Ooh, you feel something? Oh, she's sneaking a feel. <laughs> she's just, sneaking just a feel. Just the atmosphere. <laughs> atmosphere feels way different. Oh, really? Yeah. Remember what it looked like before? I do. Yes. The, the, yes. This was a challenge, multi-purpose. We got to give you a place to sleep. We got to give you guys a place to hang out, and uh, and it's got to be beautiful. Yeah, you that's know, the I'm goal. Sure it will be. Ready? Open your eyes on three. Oh. <laughs> One, two, two three. three. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. 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 That's so pretty. Oh yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm lost for work. You're so cute. <laughs> happy tears are good. Is, we love happy. Oh, you're this welcome. This is more than you're so welcome. more than I could ever. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no blown up. You recognize these? They're blown what up. Is that? Maybe when you're all grown up, you'll match that size. Hmm? And so this is Daniel. You, this you know, is, you're, is... you're, you work nights, so we yeah. thought, all right, blackout curtains Perfect. and close the bed. <laughs> right? So cool, huh? <laughs> Your TV's on a swivel mount, so you can swivel it to watch from bed if you want. Yeah, so it pulls out, and you can watch it from bed. Or... Oh, oh, give me a. And these are these are also blackout curtains as well on both the window and these guys. So, uh, oh, you guys, I'm so glad you love it. You guys Those are happy everything. tears. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's so beautiful. I'm so glad. Little Daniel has his own bed now. <laughs> Thank you. Oh gosh. I know it'll probably be a transition because he's so used to sleeping with you, but uh -huh. it's right next to you. You can keep the curtains open for now. But if you guys ever want privacy, there's curtains for for parents. Oh, also, you guys. So you had that open storage rack. So that's the whole thing with yeah. these, is now you have wardrobe, two levels of storage. You got drawers, drawers obviously you have tons there. of uh, storage down there. And then we wanted to give you, Mama, your special spot, right? We talked about that. Your necklace is no longer on thumbtacks. I made those for you. <laughs> <laughs> you can store your makeup in there. That top flips up and everything. And there's drawers and those boxes you can put stuff in. We're hooking you up with that sweet piece of technology too. That's the Lenovo smart display. Uh -huh. yeah. Hey Google, what do you do? I have lots of powers and they are growing every day. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so enjoy it. And obviously this is your conversation area now. Like we just tried to maximize the space as much as possible. It was a big challenge obviously to make sure you got everything in here. And we got two beds. This was a all puzzle. All the storage. This was it was a puzzle. A puzzle. <laughs> Look at already the surfaces. Yeah, <laughs> that's your plant. It's faux. <laughs> well, look, you guys have been on, you guys have been on a journey, obviously, with Daniel in your life now, mm -hmm. and and you for your previous service. Thank you for that, yeah. and also yeah. working you. nights. You know, it's a lot. That's a lot for a new family, right? Yeah. So we are hopeful that this just helps you guys have a little bit more peace, yeah. a little more comfort. Like you wouldn't believe. Your quality of like life. you wouldn't believe. Oh, good. Yay. Oh, sweet, <laughs> sweet lady, I love you. Nice to meet you, man. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank you. Yep. Oh, that's okay. Keep crying. As long as we're happy, tears love it. Bye, cutie boy. Yeah. Bye, thank Daniel. you. That's how he says thank you. He leans in for you to give him oh. a kiss. He, that's I him get... telling you you can give me a kiss. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's so cute. Uh, All right, we'll, we'll enjoy. leave you. Oh, give me a hug, Daniel. And, uh, thank you. Thank you. You guys are lovely. Oh, you guys are so great. No, enjoy, enjoy. We wish you all the best. Yeah. <laughs> Sit on the couch. This, you Try guys... out the blackout curtain. Thank you, bye. <laughs> bye. Uh, <laughs> Happy tears. Oh my gosh. Like, I started crying. Oh, that they were was so. Very grateful. So grateful, so sweet. Like, that just, guys, don't we have the best job ever? Like, that we get to do that, that we get to take a family's situation and just like improve it for them, improve their quality of life. And like, they deserve it. He's He was a Marine, he he served our country. Yes. They're raising that 
young, beautiful little boy. Little boy, they deserve to sleep in their own bed. Yeah, sleeping in the bed together, like in long ways. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that was a job well done. Good job. Yeah, good job. Oh, mm, lipstick. Mm, mm, Oh no! Uh, <laughs> uh, huge thanks to Lenovo Smart Display for sponsoring today's video. Couldn't have done it without them, obviously. Yes. No, thank you so much. And thank you so much, guys, for watching our videos. We really appreciate it. Thumbs up for this video because, like, this one had all the feels. Like, that family is just so sweet. I'm so happy for them. Mariana's tears. Oh, my gosh. I was wearing these glasses. You guys probably couldn't see my tears. But Big thumbs up there. for Kate. Thumbs up, yay! Join the Creative Weirdo family, hit that subscribe button. Yep, and so follow us on social media, and stay creative, stay weird, stay you. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. Bye. All That's yours your and bed, Daniel. toys over there. Annie, go, the check basket. go check it out. Go check it out. Go check it out so that our sound guy is going to be in the entire episode. <laughs> That's the sound guy. <laughs> We've met Nick. That's Nick. And this You've is met your Nick. Bed. Hi, Nick.